So can we start with like, how much do we need? <laughs> Where does it drop in perimenopause? Are we going from here to here in terms of estrogen? How much estrogen do we have yeah. to put back? So I think that's also part of the conversation. Like, how do we even figure that out? Yeah, that's a good question. So in terms of estrogen, so with our cycles, it goes up, up and down. So it's never this constant level unless you're on birth control pill. And that's how you prevent pregnancy by keeping it at this constant level. So as it goes up and down, that's when we get our symptoms. We all know about you know, PMS and you know, periods. And, and so we, we cycle. And so during menopause, that cycling, or during perimenopause rather, that cycling continues, but those levels, at first, the estrogen actually goes higher. So many women find that their periods get heavier right before, uh, right before menopause or in those few years before. So the estrogen actually goes high before it drops. So it's not like it goes like this, but it goes like this and then comes back down. So, you know, we, there's been studies that have tried to chart it in women. It's a, it's, it's, it's a moving target because it does depend on the time of your cycle, but we generally know that it goes up generally and, go, and comes down. That, that plateau and that that steep you know dive down is what causes the symptoms mm -hmm. so that usually takes a few years but that's when you're feeling your symptoms that's when the symptoms are the worst 